Howdy everybody and welcome to Gemcraft. I'm going to be playing a new game here. This is a tower defense game. It's not going to be the most exciting game necessarily, but it's a fun one. It has an interesting little story. Make a gem. Drag the gem. Alright, so this is the first level and I'm basically just going to be doing this one video per level. So. It's not going to take that long to do this first one. We can start the map. I mean, this is only, well, I'll probably do like two, maybe three this first one, because it will be very quick. So this, like I said, this is a tower defense game, but it has some uh, interesting mechanics in that you have grades of gems that you have to put in your towers. You can actually put down more towers. You can create walls. Uh, you can create bombs with your gems. And you can combine your gems to get the different effects and different combinations. Like right here, don't necessarily want this green gem right there and then you can also bomb waves of enemies in order to enrage them and get more enemies which gives you more experience so you level up quicker green is poison purple is armor shredding orange is mana leeching, so it gives you more mana every hit. This is probably the most important type of gem in the game. We're going to start leaking enemies here. Potentially. Yep. Might lose because I got a little overzealous there. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be okay. I'm gonna leak a few through. We'll get them when they come back around. Uh, kind of a, an old school flash game. So we got some stuff here. We got some unlocks, some achievements, some fragments, and the next field token, which opens up the next stage. And the shadow cores we'll use be using to mostly to upgrade the fragments for our uh, talisman. Yeah. But here's the story. I was in the possession of the Forgotten for months, carrying her within myself. We wandered through the wilderness towards the Spirit Forge, the last stand of wizardry, the place she seemed to want to get to so desperately. I still can't believe my trap worked, but it did. It split us apart and knocked me unconscious. Whether she didn't find me afterwards or didn't want to waste time on killing me, I don't know. But she's gone now. I'm probably the first wizard ever to survive her possession. This happened at least three days ago. Fortunately, the trapper, as I call it the Scythe Gate, dropped me near my old wizard tower, just as I had planned. After decades spent hiding and watching, I'm home again. She is days ahead of me, though. There's no time to waste. I must hurry and assist the gym bear. We have to set up a trap with the gym before she gets to the Spirit Forge. We can go on to the next one. So the basic story here is that 
you were possessed, you're, you're a wizard, and you were possessed by this thing, but then you escaped, obviously. Just do it, as I said. So we can put down new towers. Now we've got the red gems, which are multi hit, and blue, which is slow. And it starts us starts us off with one gem there. And since we don't have access to any anything special here, we don't have an orange gem that we'd want to set up early necessarily. What we really want to do is just go ahead and start uh, building some gems here. This is giving us a 1.12 chain hit and 9% slower, so mostly we're just going to be killing things early on. might have been a bit too far, too quick. Calling waves early will give you extra mana and XP, but it also means you're going to have more enemies on the board, which can get you into trouble very quickly if you're not careful. Okay. Go ahead and just put that there for a moment. I'm getting overwhelmed just a little bit. Still not doing too bad. Three gem for red, which should see us through the rest of this particular level. Go ahead and upgrade that one. Call that wave a little early, get a little extra XP and mana from it. At level 3 right now, it's a 1.32 chain, which means it hits 1 and then goes a little bit further. Okay, now we've got a lot of enemies coming through at once. This is where it's good, possibly, to pause and drop a couple of gym bombs. kill a few. So you don't lose experience for leaking enemies. So the only thing you have to worry about is losing all your mana, which is how you lose. Got a bunch of achievements, and this time we're going to go ahead and do endurance mode. This is an endless uh, assault of uh, the enemies coming after you, but it also means you can get a whole lot more experience. And again, there is no drawback to using endurance mode. It is, as far as I'm concerned, it is free experience. But it is one of those things, eventually you're going to lose. And I tend to not go too crazy with it. Also in endurance mode, you don't get any benefit from calling waves early, so... It's better to just let your gems uh, upgrade. Take your time, is what I mean. and hit 
fast forward here. Oh, man, yeah, we lost all that there quickly. We didn't get a whole lot of extra experience, but it was some. Every little bit helps. See, we went up like three levels there. We got a bunch of achievements. We got some talis uh, talisman piece, which we can go ahead and upgrade once. 5% of wizard level goes to initial XP and mana. That's a pretty good one to get right off the bat. And, uh, basically, yeah, when you get all kinds of different upgrades and you can put them in this and then upgrade the pieces. And then we've got our skills. <clears throat> we have 37 experience or skill points here. Now all three of these are useful, but the best one to get early is this one because it gives you more mana per kill of enemy and lower mana pool milestone. Because every time you level up the mana pool, you saw the bar going up, you know, at the top when it hits the next level, it speeds up how much it regenerates. And you get more experience. So, it's not bad to put a couple of points, a couple three points in these. Because this one, it uh, makes it cost less to get your gems and fuse them. This decreases the cost of buildings. And increases the speed of gem socketing. So, they're all useful. I'll probably go ahead and follow, uh, get another point in there. Just to make uh, buildings cost a bit less. And I think two missions is pretty good for this first video, so thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Ryan Acid Murphy signing off. Later.